This project was made with the intention to inform you about a very serious disease, one which many people have, although you may not think about it in your everyday life, a disease which is cancerous to your body and harms your skin, risks and alters your life in numerous ways, a disease known as melanoma. Melanoma is the most serious form of skin cancer. The American Cancer Society did research and they predicted that by 2007 there may be up to, or even more than, 59,940 new cases of melanoma. Some interesting statistics that were also found are males are two to three times more likely to get skin cancer than females. There is a 25% higher chance that Caucasians get melanoma than African Americans. However, melanoma can occur in any skin type, but it is very unlikely in African Americans, Asians, and Latinos. Melanoma is much more deadly in these societies, however, because the detection of melanoma is much less likely due to the darker skin tones. The highest susceptibility occurs in white Caucasians. There are many things to look for in order to tell if you might be at risk for having melanoma. There is an A, B, C, D, E rule for determining if you have signs of having it. Asymmetry looking moles. If moles on your body look different in size, that is if one half looks larger than the other half or if the halves are unequal, then you may have melanoma on the spot. Border. If a mole has an irregular shape to it or the border is not distinctly present, then it is more likely to be cancer. Color. If one color is shown, then it is more likely to be normal. However, if the mole has variations of colors within the mole, then it is much more likely to be cancer. Diameter. Any mole that looks large has a higher chance of being cancerous. The general rule of thumb for this is larger than 6 mm. Elevation or enlargement. If a mole sticks out from the skin or feels rough, or if you notice a certain mole is becoming larger, you may be at a higher risk for cancer. In two-thirds of all melanoma cases, the BRAF gene is affected. The BRAF gene transforms NIH323 cell. Melanoma in your outside family, which includes your grandparents, uncles, and aunts, increases your risk of getting the disease, although it's not, it is not as high of a risk as having it in your immediate family. Many may wonder what the likelihood of a patient's child being born with a disease. A simple fact explains this. Melanoma is in no way inherited. The offspring of a patient is more vulnerable to getting the disease than a normal person, however. Many people who are born from a person who has the disease usually never acquire it. This disease has autosomal dominant inheritance. It, acquire, it occurs through, the, through a frameship deletion mutation. Melanoma occurs most heavily in Eastern Europe more than the rest of the world. In the United States, melanoma accounts for 1-2% to 2 of the total amount of deaths due to cancer. Melanoma begins in skin cells called melanocytes. These are, these are which give the skin its color. There are four different types of melanoma. Superficial spreading melanoma, lentigo maligna, acral lentiginous melanoma, and nodular me melanoma. The doctor will determine treatments depending upon the severity and appearance if of the If he skin. believes the skin has the potential to be cancerous, he will order a biopsy, which the results of which could dictate a follow-up treatment. A biopsy is a numbing of the region and then removing the lesion which is examined underneath a microscope. One form of a, bi a biopsy treatment, if the cancer is thought to be spreading throughout the body, is an open lymph node biopsy. This is a surgical procedure where the patient's lymph nodes are removed and then are taken to a laboratory for microscopic analysis. This is performed since melanoma tends to drain into the lymph nodes, and the biopsy shows how deep it went beneath the skin and the likelihood it is to advance throughout the rest of the body. The first step with normal treatment is to surgically remove the melanoma from the body. Furthermore, some of the normal skin around the area is removed as well. This is done to make sure none of the melanoma sticks behind and keeps infecting the patient. Surgical removal gives patients virtually a 100% cure rate for melanoma, but only in the early stages. Other methods of detection include MRIs, PET scan, x-rays, radioisotopic bone, or organs. Stage 1. Melanoma is usually less than 2 millimeters in diameter, usually found in the skin, but normally has not spread to the rest of the body. Stage two, between 1.01 and four millimeters. This stage is where it spreads down to the lower levels of the skin, but not to the other parts of the body. Stage three, 1.01 to four millimeters. During this stage, it mainly spreads to the lymph nodes, but not to the further extremities of the body. Stage four, 1.01 to four millimeters. By this stage, it has spread to all the further parts of the body as well. It has been found that malignant melanoma needs a steady supply of a protein in order to continue to grow and develop. This protein is known as CDK2. This stands for cyclin-dependent kinase 2. Research dictates that inhibiting the gene which produces CDK2 
the growth and production of melanoma cells was slowed down but not destroyed. Drugs are out which attempt to inhibit the making of CDK2 protein. CDK2 protein is one of the few regulators of the cell's normal cycle. That is, it determines the cell when it should be at rest of when it should be multiplying and making more of itself. Malignant cells are those which normal control over dividing and resting have been stopped, making them uncontrollably abnormal. Mutations in the genes may increase your likelihood to get the disease, and it can also be the creator of a person who gets melanoma, as when the gene gets mutated, it may cause a cell to become cancerous. Melanoma can occur at any age, although it is very unlikely to occur before the age of 10. The mean age of melanoma is 57 years. Around 75% of patients under, are under 75 years of age as well. In women, melanoma is the most common form of malignancy between the ages of 25 and 29, and it normally results in 7,000 deaths in a given year. There is no actual cure for melanoma. You can treat the symptoms, but otherwise the only cure is to cut it out surgically, but that is only if it is caught early enough. Many times, melanoma can metastasize into internal organs, many times the lungs. This is why melanoma is so fatal if left on. All of these are reasons why melanoma is such a dangerous disease, and many times it goes under the radar, and people don't realize how dangerous it is. Staying out of the sun is one, is one way which you can keep yourself from becoming more prone to get the disease.